Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Dilly Events Worldwide, and we are on September 12th, 2021, and welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Thank you for joining me today, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything affecting humanity. Looking at 304 angstroms right now, we did have quite a sun event, and you can see it on the left, top left-hand side, large plasma filaments erecting away from the, the sun, looking at the last 48 hours incoming, a nice plasma whip observed here, coronal mass ejection, and as well we have those active sunspots that are departing, one of them flared, small flare at that, but it was visible on Lasco 2 and Lasco 3. Another quick look here at all of this plasma building up. And you can see the line filament here on the front of the sun. And then it extended to the back and then whipped away and came back into the sun. Also observed a couple solar tornadoes. Quickly looking here at the active fiery regions that are departing. Other than that, we have no new sunspots to talk about. But it was an active couple weeks as we had about eight to deal with. As well, looking at this quick flare here on the right hand side. And the plasma filament crawling across the sun. Multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the events. Pretty active along the back side of the sun. Here are the solar tornadoes that I was talking about. I want to thank everybody for all of your support to the channel. Thank you for hitting the like button. I appreciate you tuning in every day to the Daily Do, looking at the sun, and of course, space weather, world weather. Just amazing images coming out of Solar Dynam Dynamics Observatory and more to come. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next Daily Do. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, you can see the large blast coming off the left-hand side. Coronal mass ejection and as well a small flare. Both sides of the sun. I want to give a big shout out to all of the members and as well the sponsors in this channel. Much love. I could not do this without you. Observing here on ISWA, the space prediction spiral, you can see that was directed right at Mercury and as well Bepi, the satellite. Solar X-ray flux remains just about to the sea level and geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind, you can see that starting to pick up as we were constant yesterday, about 330 kilometers, and we bumped up here to 423 kilometers per second from a pretty jagged 350 kilometers per second. Observing the magnetosphere diagram here, kind of showing how the space weather is going around our planet. A little bit of backside action there. Small push. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 73 and 88. A few pretty hefty spikes throughout the day today. I was feeling very active and energetic. I just kept doing and going. So power of seven, 73 and a quality of 17. Power of 56 and quality of 43. So kind of up and down right now like a roller coaster. Kind of like the earthquakes. Sitting at about 270 earthquakes across the planet, according to USGS. We're going to quickly run down all of the earthquakes across the planet right now, starting out here with the deep and notable earthquakes. 436 kilometer depth, Izu Islands, Japan region, and as well minor earthquakes throughout the region. Shinomaki, 44.4, and as well a 4.5. South Islands, pretty sizable 5.3 as well at Kurilsk, Russia, 363 kilometer depth. 
Two very deep earthquakes on either side of Japan. Heads up, Japan. 4.3 here to report as well in Tixi, Russia. Alaska definitely seeing the uptick as I had forecasted. False pass seeing a 4.7 as well. Active across North American plate today, especially through Texas. Toya, Texas, 2.5 there, but just recently a 3.9. Very active throughout Texas. What is going on there in the border with Mexico? As well, Oklahoma seeing a 2.5. Hermley, Texas, 3.6. 3.7 just recently in Mina, Nevada. And as well, Stanley, Idaho. One lonely 3.2 to report. And throughout California, largest to report, 2.5. Now, let's just head across to USGS and look for any major swarms to talk about. But right away, noticeable here, earthquake through the New Madrid. 2.1 in Marston, Missouri. And then here, Quinton and Kearney and Nestatunga through Oklahoma and then through western Texas and now up into Mentone, Texas, into New Mexico. Definitely some movement going on underneath there. No, no major swarms to talk, talk about. Small one here in Nevada and as well, Walker, California and our regular Cobb through the springs. Cobb, California. But nothing major to report for swarms. And pretty quiet across the upper Midwest, considering what we've been seeing over the last little while. So that's a bit worrisome. Heads up, friends and family around the world. Be ready for anything these days. We know how this world works. Appreciate you all tuning in and prayers for our humanity. Continue on with earthquakes here. 4.6 Mexico, minor earthquakes through Puerto Rico, 2.5, 3.3, Pol Oje, Puerto Rico, and as well a 4.7 here in Santiago, Peru, 4.2 San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina, 245 kilometer depth, and as well a 4.4 and a 4.1 Illapel, Chile, 6 kilometer depth. And a 35 kilometer depth earthquake. So pretty active South American plate and as well North American plate. 4.8 here to report South Shetland Islands. Quiet through Africa. Quiet through Europe. 1, 3.1 to report here in Greece. A lot of minor other earthquakes being reported. Volcano discovery. 4.4 there to Tajikistan. And as well, Indonesia, 4.9. 4.6 here in Komodo, Indonesia, 143 kilometer depth. Tobilo, 4.7. And as well, the Philippines, 4.4 at a 52 kilometer depth. So things are starting to pick up definitely through the Philippines plate and as well, Pacific, 5.3 there. Solomon Islands and 5.2 Tonga. As well, pretty sizable earthquake to report here. Hawaii, Pahala at a 36 kilometer depth, 3.8. As well, a couple 2.7s there to report. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's throw the last seven days on. All of the elevated rings are the deep earthquakes across the planet. And looking at all of the green and yellow being the most recent. So... Increased action through the Indian plate and as well through Japan this week. And as well, many deep earthquakes going through the Fiji and as well South America. And heads up, North American plate and as well Japan. These are the two areas that I'm focusing on over the next few days. And as well, heads up Ontario, as we do have some storms coming out throughout the night tonight, going to have some pretty big thunder boomers moving through southern Ontario and as well Flint, Michigan. Tornado warning going through there tonight. And you can see here, 
We are in Brantford, Ontario, and those storms are heading eastward. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes to update, looking at Karamiski and as well Popopoketitl. Many fires breaking out through Trinity County and California yet again. Swiss and Najima in Japan, Sabincaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevados de Chilean, Languila, Nevados de Ruiz, Fuego, Semis Napochnoi, Shevluch, three days ago. That's the most recent one. Stay tuned for the Volcano and Planetary Report coming up this week for week 36, I believe it is. As well, we have Tropical Storm Nicholas, who is heading into the Gulf with already floods going through Lake Charles and as well Texas through the, through the first few small bands here of Nicholas. And this storm could intensify over the next 24 hours. So heads up and stay tuned to the dew. I'll keep you guys aware and prepared as these storms grow. And then an interesting path here of Super Typhoon Chang Thu, who turned into a Category 5 typhoon twice and is now getting ready to eye up Shanghai. And in the five-day forecast, it does not look good for Shanghai. Big problems coming. And as well, you've got Khonsan, Tropical Storm Khonsan, who is bringing floods to Thailand, big storms through the Philippines, and as well, flooding conditions and storm conditions going through India already with a pretty intense low-pressure system moving through. Five-day forecast coming up quick. And you can see here, the low-pressure system I've been talking about all week is now getting ready to hit Spain. Heading into Europe, let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well, daily events worldwide, starting out here in Brantford, Ontario, as we do have quite a bit of rain moving through tonight and as well, extreme weather possible. We're already hearing the thunder out there, seeing the lightning. It's kind of nice. Just open up the windows and listen to it and uh, feel that moisture come through. So throughout the week, we're going to see that. As a big system comes out of Colorado, watch for that to join forces with another one through the Hudson Bay. And then an Alberta Clipper moving into Hudson Bay as well. Westward, watching a definite cool down over the next few days. Cool temperatures through BC and as well snow through higher, higher elevations. Two very big systems are going to be developing in this five-day forecast. So heads up, British Columbia and as well Alaska, northern British Columbia and Alaska, and then southern British Columbia later, Vancouver and Washington. Could see quite a bit of rain and strong winds. As well, very intense weather will be moving through Manitoba border with Ontario this week. Big high-pressure ridge through the Atlantic. And then watch this big system heading into Greenland this week. That is Tropical Storm Ida. Or sorry, uh, Larry. And then that big system heading into Spain is going to spread out across Europe. And then watch for another low to head to Iceland. So that's two low pressure systems for Iceland. And then low pressure system for Eastern Europe and as well Russia. Cool temperatures and lots of snow getting ready to move in already. Parts of Siberia. And as well, a big system here heading across India this week. It's going to bring quite a bit of rain and intense extreme weather. And then watch this tropical storm, Changthu, which will grind through Shanghai for about two to three days before being whipped out to Japan. Very intense and strange weather across the planet right now. And I wish I could point to exactly where I want to as I'm talking. We've got a big system there heading through Australia. Looking for western parts of it to get wet and as well New Zealand. Spotty showers through Hawaii. Dry still all across western United States. Tropical depression developing later in the week. Could join forces with Nicholas. And as well, pretty extreme weather 
event could be possible here through Argentina and border with Brazil. And two areas of interest here, grinding off of Africa in the five-day forecast. So in like a lamb, out like a lion. The Atlantic hurricane season is about to set some records, I'm sure. Cool temperatures moving into parts of South Africa this week. Possible snow and higher elevations. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems affecting our planet. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world